In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how I make millions completely solo doing the KO Perico heist. I hope you guys learned something and enjoy the video. And with that, let's get right into it. To start this off, I'm going to list you the setups you need to do to follow through with this guide. So for the approach vehicle, you're going to be doing the long fin. So you're going to have to go out and steal the boat, and then you will just have to bring it back to the docks where it'll be stored for the heist. For the three equipment setups you need to do, you're going to need safe codes, fingerprint cloner, and cutting torch. And I'll say this right now, this guy does use the drainage tunnel as the entrance to the compound, so if you don't have that, make sure you unlock that. For the weapon loadout, it's your own choice, but make sure you also buy suppressors. So now that you have the requirements, let's start the heist. For the approach vehicle, make sure you set it to long fin. Make sure the infiltration point is north dock. The compound entry point is going to be the drainage tunnel, and the escape point does not matter. Once you're all set, you'll come into the cutscene where we are entering the island. Once the cutscene finally ends, turn right and follow the coast up. Keep following the coast until you see the airstrip on your minimap. Go ahead and hop out of your boat and get onto land. Once you're on land, go over the little hill and walk straight until you meet our first destination, the hangar. Once you get here, wait until the guard comes around and shoot him in the head so he doesn't alert anybody. Then, go ahead and run into the hangar and this is where we will be filling up our loot bag. Go ahead and hop into the forklift and drive over to the pallet right over here. Then you're going to pick that pallet up and raise it up like this. Once that's done, go ahead and hop out the forklift and head over to the first fenced in area. Go ahead and break in there. Take whatever is in there. For me, it was cash, so it wasn't that good. I actually do want to say all I had was cash in the Sesame Toke tequila. So if you get anything better, then you'll definitely make more money than me. Now, once you're done with that, go ahead and hop onto the forklift and hop onto the box. That'll allow you to jump over this fence in the area and get into the second area that we're looting. And of course, once you're in there, grab anything that's in there, hop over the same fence you hopped in with, get down and run out of the hangar and back to the boat. And as I'm running back to the boat in this video, I just wanted to say thank you guys for the amount of support that I'm getting on my shorts. It really means a lot. I think we're at like 440 subscribers now and I gained more than a hundred in like a week or less and I just want to thank you it really means a lot and I'm gonna keep going I'm gonna keep posting this content and with that out of the way let's get back into the video so once you get to the compound you're gonna be pulling up right next to the shore you're gonna see this little grate symbol so hop down into the water make sure you equip your rebreather with right d pad I'm pretty sure and go ahead and start cutting. You're gonna have to swim all the way through the tunnel and finally choose that as your entrance point. So now you're in, you're in the compound and you're ready to go. So we're gonna be killing a maximum of four to five guys. So as you go up the stairs, get your gun out and shoot this guy right here. He may or may dro not drop a card or a key card. It doesn't matter, we're not using it. Shoot this guy right here and go ahead hop up this go up these stairs go up the other flight of stairs and make sure you just shoot this guy for good measure just to make sure we don't get caught once you do that go ahead back down the stairs and hop over to the railing right here we're going to be running right around every single guard basically so take your time play the smart watch your mini map and once you get over those stairs go ahead run around and hide behind this wall right here until the guard starts to walk towards the entrance of the compound then you're going to be running up waiting for him to stop and you're going to shoot him right in the back of the head hopefully he drops the gate key if he does grab it go ahead and then run all the way down this corridor and shoot this guy right in the back of the head as well now go ahead and go up the flights of stairs and take the one guard up here out as well once you're finally in, go ahead over to the wall safe located right here because it can also give you an extra $100,000. Go ahead and now do your hacks, go down into the elevator, grab your primary objective, run back out, come back to this room. Now once you're here, all we need to do is make a nice and silent getaway. So go ahead all down the stairs and hoping that he dropped the gate key, you're gonna be coming over to this gate right here. Now watch out because there will be a guard here and you have to make sure the other guard does not see his body when you shoot him. Now this one, the guard did see me and I did have a moment where I thought I messed it up, but I was quick enough to where I was fine and it didn't alert the guards. So once you have the gate key, go through 
and get to this door. I do want to say if he does not drop the gate key and you do not have the gate key, you're going to have to go to the left instead of the right when you come down the staircase. And you're going to have to, if you're on Xbox, press X and double jump over two railings to get back to this door. So once you're out, hopefully you're still undetected and there's going to be one guy here. You're going to shoot him in the back of the head and you're going to take his motorcycle. And at this point, just drive it, go straight, cut through this area with the helicopter, go right through the grass, onto the dirt road, and you're going to see this little hill here, and all you have to do is jump right off of this, and you have done it. Go ahead and swim straight out to get farther away from the island, and then eventually your screen will turn to black. Now, as you can see here, I could have gotten more money if I did have two people, but I only had one. So the actual take is going to be $1.3 million for me. And if you do this correctly, you will get the elite challenge. So adding on another $50,000, I ended up with $1.4 million. And bear in mind that I did have the worst primary objective and the worst secondary objectives. So you could, in fact, get 1.7, 1.8, maybe even 1.9 completely solo with this method. So I hope this helped you. And if you do want more guides like this, let me know and I will see you guys in the next one.